Hello everybody and welcome to Jeff the Pharmacist. Uh, it's an honor to have you here. I want to thank you for watching. So today I want to talk about the um, kind of the the ARB recall crisis if you will. I don't know if it's exactly a crisis but um, it is an issue that um, patients are unfortunately the victim of. Um, so currently what we have is a uh, there have been tons of recalls on Losartan, Herbisartan, um, there's recalls on Valsartan, and every time that there's a recall, often there will be uh, some kind of a shortage. I don't think we saw a shortage with Valsartan, but there, or no, sorry, I don't think we saw a um, shortage with Losartan, but we saw one with Valsartan, and there's still a shortage on Herbisartan. So I just wanted to tell you kind of why this is occurring. So I made a video about Valsartan um, being recalled and it was recalled because um, a company that makes the active pharmaceutical ingredient um, found was found to have a cancer uh, causing chemical or cancer linked chemical. It, it is, you know, the positive spin on that is it's out in the environment and, you know, people are exposed to it, but it it was, you know, it shouldn't be in our medicine, right? Our medicine can, should be kind of free of uh, extraneous cancer-causing things. You know, the drugs themselves sometimes can cause cancer. We shouldn't have other crap in there that can cause cancer. I think that's a fair point. And that was kind of the point of the FDA. So uh, they've uh, basically pressured companies to issue recalls. Um, I don't know if the FDA has the official um, authority to like initiate a recall. They're supposedly voluntary, but I'm sure the um, FDA can stop the company from manufacturing a product. So I guess that's their leverage. Um, so uh, all of these um, these recalls have kind of stemmed from uh, most of them have been from the same place. Um, there are a couple that uh, came from another place, but um, most of them come from a uh, a factory in China and you you, you know the, the kind of the sad thing about it is uh, generic drugs are cheaper um, we shouldn't p patients shouldn't really have to be thinking about uh, where are my generic drugs coming from uh, but uh, a, a lot of them in the ARB category and also the ACE inhibitor category come from a uh, company in China so I'll show you here. Um, so if you, it, this is a uh, Herbisartan. So this was made the man, the generic manufacturer is called so Sokol. Um, the outfit is out of New Jersey. So if you go to the pharmacy and you ask them, you know, where's my generic drug made? They might say it's made in New Jersey, um, which is true. Some of it might be made in New Jersey. I don't know if it's packed there. If it's um, if the, the tablets are physically pressed out in New Jersey, but the active pharmaceutical ingredient um, is manufactured in, in a uh, company called Zhejiang Huahai Pharmaceutical um, in this uh, part of China called Lin, Lin Hai. Obviously, I'm not saying that right because I don't um, speak very much Chinese. I dabble in it, but I don't. So. Uh, this company uh, is responsible for a lot of the uh, the issues with the with the drug product. There was another recall from Losartan, Torrent Losartan, and that was from a different company. Just to be fair to um, this Chinese company, uh, that was out of uh, uh, Torrent Pharmaceuticals, which is manufactured in India. Now, just because they're in China, uh, I don't want to knock them too hard because. China gets a lot of bad press being their communists. Uh, so uh, just because they're in China doesn't mean that the FDA inspector can't go in there and see what's up and everything else. They do have um, FDA inspectors that go into these facilities and audit them. They look at their manufacturing processes and everything else. Um, but they are responsible for a big part of this recall. They made um, tons of the Valsartan, I think, I looked it up in my old video, I think it was maybe half of the, the market of Valsartan was linked to this one company that was making the active pharmaceutical ingredient. Um, you know, they, they make a lot of the Herbisartan 
and um, probably some of the low start and you can look on their website and I'll show you they've just introduced a news tab on their website and they talk a little bit about uh, what's occurred uh, previously when I did my video they didn't have any news about it uh, they didn't talk about it they didn't on their website they didn't put like a bulletin or statement literally something that affects has affected uh, millions of people they didn't like they need a PR rep or something because that's you know they just tried to stay away from it and the, the thing is is that patients don't know where the drugs are made and that's because it's not on the label um, I don't know what would happen if it were on the label for instance if you went to the pharmacy and on the label it said where your drugs were made a lot of people are um, concerned about having things made out of the United States or they're concerned about having it you know I don't know, I've heard people, they don't want their drugs from India, they're okay if it's from Israel, but they don't want it from, you know, everybody has their own opinions. Um, but they don't put that on the label, so people are kind of, you know, not really aware where it's coming from. But um, if you ask the pharmacist, they can tell you uh, where the drugs come from. If they say it comes from New Jersey and it's not a brand product, a lot of times that just means this is where the tablets were pressed, but um, if you ask them, you know, is there any other, you know, is there any other facilities listed on there? Because if it's manufactured at one place and then shipped to another place and pressed out, like the tablets are physically formed at the, that other place, they would have to list both, um, both places where they were manufactured. So I'll show you the Valsartan Active Pharmaceutical Ingredient statement from Huahai Pharma. And it's extremely defensive, which I think is really not very um, very smart. Like they, they obviously don't have any experience with Americans. Uh, it says recent articles have misrepresented information about the discovery of tra trace amounts of genotoxic impurity in Valsartan, an active pharmaceutical ingredient made by Zhejiang Huahai Pharma. Uh, these articles have incorrectly suggested that the discovery and identification of this impurity incurred, occurred more than one year ago. So, I, so it seems like they're upset that uh, people were, uh, were saying that they knew about it. They're saying they didn't know about it, um, but that the product has been out a year. So who cares, you know, if they knew about it or not? I mean, it's the product with this impurity has been out for, um, I think, 2016 or 2017. I'm not sure, but it was like a year. So the discovery was made in June of 2018, um, and but the manufacturing processes that created this the uh, the impurity, which is called NDMA or I've seen it called NDEA, and it's a carcinogen. Um, and, uh, you know, they issued recalls. Um, I don't know if they would have issued it without the FDA uh, finding it during their inspection. Uh, probably not. Um, but I thought it was funny, kind of, that, that their whole stance on it was defensive in nature and not, like, an like apology. Uh, you know, we're sorry, we have this impurity. It's like... Um, it's just defensive. And uh, Tor Torrent had, um, had, had found this impurity in their manufacturing process and these products are made at, in this location in India. Nothing, I'm not knocking um, drugs made in India because a lot of, uh, I think a lot of our generic drugs are made in India and if, like we don't really make generic drugs here, that, the active components. Um, I guess because the labor is too expensive or something, I'm not really sure. These are the products that this company makes. They're involved in the manufacture of Captopril, Enalapril, Lysinopril, Bonazapril, Focinopril, uh, Quinapril, Ramapril, Candesartan, Herbisartan, Losartan, Telmasartan, Valsartan, these are like probably all the drugs that would be switched. So you could be switched from the Herbisartan to the Losartan and then, you know, that hopefully it's not recalled. But anyways, this company is involved in the manufacture of a lot of different drugs. And they, they, they are the first 
Chinese company to uh, be uh, FDA approved to manufacture drugs for the United States. Um, they post that in their website. Um, so I, you know, that I just find it interesting. The, I just found it kind of interesting this sort of approach that they had used um, to deal with this. Um, obviously, if it was uh, if it was an American company, they probably would apologize or something. Um, but um, it seems like there might be some disconnect. Uh, so, uh, so far we've had Valsartan recalls, Losartan recalls, and Herbisartan recalls. Uh, some of the recalls have been in just on certain lot numbers. Um, the biggest one was the Valsartan, which was like on all the lot numbers. But the, the recent Losartan uh, recall wasn't on all the lot numbers, and I don't think the Herbisartan recall was either. But um, some, you know, they probably had to stop uh, manuf manufacturing some of it because of the uh, because of the recall and trying to, and they're probably trying to change their uh, manufacturing process so it doesn't have this impurity in it, and that's why a lot of the herbicide we probably can't get. I'm speculating to that, but you know, whenever these recalls occur, um, a lot of times there's a drug shortage, so that means they're probably not making it right. So I hope you all found this interesting. Um, I. Uh, I know pharmacy can be boring, but this is probably the most like this is the you know the hot topic now in pharmacy is all these different recalls. It's like um, we're you know we're calling doctors and want to know what 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 can we give them, and we say well uh, you know only this lot's been recalled, and you know hopefully you know we hope for the best, and we have to trust the FDA. Um, so I hope you all found this interesting. Um, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. It would be an honor to have you as a subscriber and uh, I want to thank you for making it this far in the video and, and watching. I really appreciate it and uh, thank you so much for watching. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, leave them below. I try to answer all my comments. Uh, if I haven't uh, seen your comment, uh, it's probably YouTube's fault. Uh, just kidding, but maybe it is because sometimes I don't see them all, but um, if I do see them, or I do try to uh, answer that. Uh, unless it's like a discussion between different people sometimes which I think is great if you watch my video and then it starts a discussion with with different people I find that just really really awesome uh, I've seen that before uh, some of my antidepressant videos it's like uh, uh, you know I make a video about antidepressants and then it's like it's crap people are like it's crap it doesn't work uh, and then somebody else is like well it really works why wouldn't you take it and it's very interesting seeing people's opinions on drugs and stuff. Um, obviously, uh, some drugs are controversial. So I hope you all found this interesting. I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I want to thank you for watching. Thanks a lot.